In this video, we're going to demonstrate the AME workflow in Abacus CAE for Autodesk Keyless PFA. Now, the first thing you want to do in CAE is right-click on your job and select Write Input. This writes your structural input file to your working directory. Now, once you've opened up Advanced Material Exchange, you want to import the mold flow study file. And our structural input file actually consists of an assembly of parts, and so we'll demonstrate that functionality throughout the video. The mold flow part has been imported, and this is the part for the arm of the, of the brake assembly. Next is to import the structural input file that we just exported from Abacus CIE. And once the structural input file has been imported, we want to select the component that we want to map to. So again, we select the pedal, and then we select our unit system, and click OK. And once these parts have both been imported into AME, we can use the automatic alignment tool to automatically position these two geometries so that they are aligned. Um, the alternative is to use an interactive alignment tool, which is manual. Um, in most cases, it's preferred and simpler to use the automatic alignment. And so advanced material exchange will align these geometries. And our next step here is to map the fiber orientations from the mold flow simulation to the structural simulation. Once, that, once that's complete, AME displays some contours that show us um, how well these orientations were mapped from mold flow to the structural simulation. Next, we want to add a nonlinear, we want to characterize the material, and so we will add our CSV file for the tension stress strain data, and new for this year, we've got compression data as well. So a compression uh, CSV file needs to be imported if you have that available. And once the tension and compression inputs are added to AME, we can characterize the materials. And here we can see how well those materials were characterized uh, versus the input data. We'll select that environment. And as I mentioned, we have multiple parts in our structural assembly, so now we need to map results for the other part in our structural assembly. So now we're going to pair a different mold flow part, and this is called the stop. This is what attaches the pedal to the chassis. So we've imported that mold flow study file, and now we're going to pair that to the region in our structural input file that corresponds to the stop. Once those two geometries and meshes have been imported, it's the same process. We want to map the fiber orientation from the mold flow simulation to our structural input file. And of course, the next step is to characterize the material for this region as well. And we're going to do the tension and compression characterization as well for this, for, for this region. Once that's complete, the final step is to export this to a structural simulation package. So we want to rename our input file to something that distinguishes it from our original input file. So I just append underscore mapped. And then AME will export the updated input file with the corresponding .sif file. And that, does, that .sif file contains all of the uh, material orientation and mental property data for the structural simulation. Next, we open up an Abacus command prompt type in our Abacus ABQ 2016 job equals and then the name of our mapped input file. Once we're in Abacus uh, Viewer, we can open up the ODB and look at things like the magnitude, displacement magnitude, and here we're plotting that deformed shape relative to the undeformed shape. And we can step through time to see how the pedal deforms to the applied load. There are other inputs that we can view, um, but first we'll isolate just the pedal component here. Because remember, this is an assembly of parts. So now we're looking at just the, just the pedal, and we can look at typical field outputs like stress. And you can manipulate your view so you can figure out where these stress concentrations are occurring. But there are many outputs that are computed by AME, and these are stored as state variables. So state variable 1 here is the damage state, and state variable 13 is the failure index. Now if you want to get a list of all of the state variables that are computed by AME, simply open up the .mct file in your working directory, and it contains a table that shows you every single state variable that is computed by AME. AME. So you can see there are 21 different state variables. Uh, rupture state is SDV1. The status for the element is SDV2. 
the matrix stress components are SDVs 3 through 8, and then there's failure index, uh, failure mode as well.